Hey everyone, Grant here for the Flame Learning Channel. In part 2 of looking at batch paint in Flame 2018, we'll take a look at the paint stroke duration over time. This allows you to decide whether a paint stroke affects a single frame or a range of frames in the composite. Now this may not be new to long-time Flame artists, but what is different in Flame 2018 is that you no longer must commit to the duration of a paint stroke before you paint. That's right, paint stroke durations are now editable. So let's create an example and you can use your own material to follow along. In Batch Paint, under the Paint heading, you should see the range controls. Mine is set to current frame, so I'm only painting on frame 1. If you click the pull down menu, you can paint on the current frame, on the whole sequence from beginning to end, you can paint from a specific frame onwards, or up to a specific frame, and you can simply choose to paint between a range of frames. You can set the from and to frame numbers below. So there are a few more options compared to the previous version of Flame. Now let's draw a simple stroke to illustrate the functionality. I'll leave the range on current frame, and I'll choose to draw a circle. Now if you scrub the time bar, you will see that the circle only exists on the single frame that was painted. If you wanted to extend this over multiple frames in previous versions of Flame, you would have been out of luck. In Flame 2018, almost every property of the stroke is editable, including the frame range. In order to edit the range, change the paint mode to edit mode. Here you will find your paint stroke and you can select it. A bounding box appears around the stroke and you can simply change the range. Let's say you change it from the current frame to the entire sequence. When you scrub the time bar again, the stroke will last the length of the sequence. As long as the stroke remains selected, you can set whatever duration you'd like it to be. Now the paint stroke duration is very important, but I'm sure this edit menu has piqued your interest. So in part 3, we'll go into great detail about editing and animating your brush strokes. Be sure to check out the other features, workflows and updates to the Flame 2018 products. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel for future videos.